Hey guys, my name is SK and welcome back to my channel. I created my own meta human using my own face. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to 3D scan your face and create your own meta human. So stay tuned and find out. First, you need an iPhone. Then proceed to any 3D scanning software so that you can scan your face. For me personally, I use Polycam. So after the scan, you should get a 3D model of yourself. Then you can download them in any format. But for this version, I will use GLTF. Okay, so we will download it in GLTF. So you download, open up Blender and import in the file that you just download. All right, so we have our 3D model now. The next thing you need to do is to go to edit mode and turn on the x-ray and select all the faces that you don't need so we'll go to our lasso selection and carry on to delete all the faces that you don't need okay you will end up with something like this all right you don't need the ear okay, after that the next step is to clean up your model. Go to the edit mode, select all the vertex, and go to mesh, clean up, delete loose. Okay, over here you will say 15 vertex removed. Okay, next, remember to select all, go to mesh, clean up, degenerate dissolve, mesh, clean up, merge by distance. Alright, so after all this is done, your mesh is clean. The next step is to export the whole face out as a FBX. So go to object mode, select the object, file, export, FBX. So in our menu, the file path, you can put it to copy and click on this embed texture. Remember to click selected object, and switch off everything except mesh and the rest you can keep it as default without the big animation. The next step is to go to Unreal Engine Marketplace and just search for Meta Human. So you need to download this and click Create Project. So once you create the project, you can start to launch Unreal Engine. So in your project browser, go to Games, you can click a blank file. You can leave everything as it is, create a project name. Once it's ready, you can create. First thing you need to do is to load in the plugin. Go to edit, plugin, okay, search for meta human, it's over here. So just click it and click yes and restart. So after you have restart, you can go to your content browser. Okay, under the content, you can create a new folder. Just right click and create a new folder. Okay, name it anything you want and then drag in the FBX that you export just now. You can leave everything as default, click import all. Okay, once you have it, you will have your face with some message, you can clear it. Okay, to put it into a scene, you can just click a static mesh into that scene itself and press F to zoom in. Next, you can close this box and make sure you save often. So after you save, you can open up your content browser again. Go back to your content and right click under the Meta Human Animator. You can open up Meta Human Identity. All right, name it anything you want and double click on the identity. Okay, after that, you are prone to log in. So just log in into your Epic Games. After you have connected to the Epic Games, you can load in the face mesh. Just create component from mesh and look for your face scan static mesh. Just double click on it and wait for it to load. Once it's loaded in, you will see your face down here. And now you might want to change your camera view over here. In the field of view, we change it to 15 to make it more flat, make your face look more flat. Then you want to change your lighting to unlit to make the texture looks more clearer. And then choose the body, body type of your character. The next step is to click on your neutral pose and you want to promote this frame. So current frame will be set as front view, press OK and then you want to track marker. You will see all your landmark. After you are done, 
then click on Meta Human Identity Soft. Just wait for it to load. Now you are able to check your mesh that is just generated. If you click on the mix, you are able to see left and right whether it has done a good job. You can also switch on the current pose and hide the template mesh. Okay, so now you can see whether your face fit into your model. So after you are done, just click Mesh to MetaHuman and click on the full MetaHuman. So it will send everything to the MetaHuman Creator website. The next step is to go to the MetaHuman Unreal Engine website. Over here, you can select your Unreal Engine version and click Launch. This will take a couple of minutes to load everything. Once it's done loading, you will see your meta human over here, the one you just created. And then click on Edit Selected. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to add in the skin, assign one of the color to it, then the eyes color. For the head, you can choose one of the hairstyle that you like. And for the rest, I will just leave it up to you to create your own meta human. So once you are done playing around, over here you can see his emotion in idle stage, or you can show some of the expression or a happy pose or you can change it all the animation is here you can even change the lighting at the top left corner so after you have done you just need to close this window and go back to your plugin edit plugin and make sure your bridge quicksar bridge is switched on and you can go to your quicksar window and quicksar bridge Right over here, you can select your meta human and my meta human. So these are all the meta human that you have created. Okay, this is the latest one. Just click on it and choose the quality you like. Click download and add it to your project. Once you have created your project, you will see your meta humans here. And just click on your folder and you will see a blueprint. Let's start with BP blueprint class. You just need to click this blueprint and drag it into the screen. It will freeze for a while. Just wait for them to load. Once it's done, press F to zoom it in and then you will see your character inside. To change the lighting, you can click on directional light and rotate your light around. And there you have it, that's your own meta human. So in my next video, I'm going to teach you how to add in your accessory. Let's say you have your glasses or you want to put on a hat.